गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी विल सॉल्व क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी थ्री टू ट्वेंटी सेवन ऑफ प्रैक्टिस शीट वन लेट स्टार्ट ट्वेंटी थर्ड क्वेश्चन ए पार्ट इज इन दैट वी हैव गिवन सम नंबर्स एंड वी हैव टू राइट दीज नंबर्स इन वर्ड्स वी विल रीड दीज नंबर्स एंड देन वी विल राइट दीज नंबर्स इन वर्ड्स वाइल राइटिंग द गिवन नंबर्स इन वर्ड्स one side we will write in digits and on other side we will write in words like her first number which is given to us we will write here in this number 6 is at ones place 5 is at tens place 4 is at hundreds place and 8 is at thousands place now we will speak this number and we will write in words 8000 Four hundred fifty-six. In the same way, we can write other two numbers in words also. Like second number is eight thousand eighty-eight, and third number is nine thousand seven hundred eighty. Twenty-third question B part is there. Write ascending and descending order of given numbers. so while writing the given numbers in ascending and descending order first of all we will see the number of digits in the all numbers you can see the number of digits is 4 so now we will see the number at the thousand place and then we will see which number is the smallest number from given numbers here in the first number the number at the thousand place is 2 in the second number the number at the thousand place is 8 in third number number at thousand place is 4 and in fourth number the number at thousand place is 5 so among all 2 is the smallest number so we will write 2836 at first number now look at the left numbers in this 8 is at thousand place in second number 4 it at thousand place in third number 5 is at thousand place and from these 4 is the smallest number so we will write 4853 at second number now look at the remaining two numbers here 8 is at thousand place and in second number 5 is at thousand place so 5 is smallest so we will write 5834 in third number and at last we will write 8236 while writing numbers in descending orders the number which is at last in ascending orders will be at first in descending order so we will write 8236 at first second number will be 5834 third number will be 4853 and fourth number will be 2836 find the number which is 209 more than 4997 to find a number which will be 209 more than 4997 we would add 209 to 4997 and after adding we will get the number 5206 we can do this addition on our paper in this way also b part is 476 less than 2191 to find this number we would subtract 476 from 2191 and after subtraction we will get the number 1715 this subtraction we can do in notebook like this way also 25th question a part is rewrite the given number by using am and pm in first part time is given 8:40 in the morning dear students we use am to show the time starting from 12 midnight to 12 noon and pm is used to show the time from 12 noon till 12 in the midnight so in the first part time is 8:40 in the morning we would use am along with this time and we would write it as 8:40 am in second part 9:35 at night is given and we would use here p 
p.m. and we will write it as 9:35 p.m. Our 25th question B part is change the following time in 24 hours notation. When we have to change the time in 24 hour notations, we add 12 if the time given to us is afternoon to till midnight. And if the time is from till midnight to noon, then we will write the time as it is. Like in A part, time is given to us 10.15 at night. So we will add here 12 and the time according to 24 hours notation will be 22.15 hours. In B part time is given 3.20 in the afternoon. Here also we will add 12 and the time will be 15.20 hours. And in C part time is given to us 10.15 in morning. This time we will write as it is 10.15 hours. Find the area of given figures according to the numbers of squares in it and also find which figure has more area. If the side of each square in figure is 1 cm and the area of square is 1 square centimeter. So start calculating the number of square boxes given in both figures and then we will see which figure has more area. In figure A start counting 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Number of squares is 20. Area will be 20 square centimeter. Now let's start counting the number of squares in figure B. Start counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. Number of squares is 36. Area will be 36 square centimeter. And more area is of figure B. Question number 27 is following bar graph represents the number of students from class 1st to 5th standard in school. Look at the bar graph and find which class has the maximum number of students. Dear students, look at the bar graph. On one side of his class is given and on other side number of students are given. Like the number of students in class 1 is 20. The number of students in class 2 is 25. Number of students in class 3 is 15. Number of students in class 4 is 30. Number of students in class 5 is 35. Here maximum number is 35 which is the number of students of class 5. So answer will be class 5. Second part is how many total students are there in class 1 and class 2. For this we will add the number of students of class 1 and 2. 20 plus 25. The total number of students will be 45. Now it is time for homework. From home, you will solve question number 23 to 27 in your notebooks.